sideline. Kevin Egan is there at the Camp No, brought to you by AT&T. Thank you very much, Phil. Remember to use the hashtag El Clasico throughout the match. This segment is presented by AT&T, mobilizing your world. And let me just say that that was one of the most emotional things I've ever seen inside a sporting stadium. Every single person inside camp now on their feet holding the banner. We see the huge sign saying Glacius Johan. We saw the Catalan flag, the Barcelona flag, and the Barcelona jersey with number 14. What a beautiful tribute to the great Johan Cruyff. As you see the starting lineups, only caution away for Luis Suarez, but that was at risk in their last league game. Was able to keep his nose clean and available here today. Similar story for Casemiro in the Real Madrid starting lineup. Of course, the starting lineups brought to you by Soccer.com. Take a look at. The table right now, and it is Barcelona 76 points. Atletico a win in pocket at 70. Real Madrid at 66. Now, again on paper, it seems even with the defeat here today, Barcelona should be able to coast home, but stranger things have happened. They can pretty much slam shut any possibility for an Atletico Real Madrid comeback here today. But they have to get it done first. And for Real Madrid, as we head into this moment of silence, perhaps a launching pad to glory to come. In a moment of silence for Johan Cruyff, both as a playing legend and a coaching one for Barcelona. He shook his head at some of the disruptors, and it's surprising from a section of the fans. It seemed to be directed from Real Madrid fans, but it doesn't matter. They were drowned out by the predecessing wonderful tribute. And now let's get ready to rock and roll. These two footballing teams exemplifying the spirit of the football that Cruyff displayed in different ways, perhaps, but world-class footballers again. We are underway. Barcelona in their familiar Blaugrana and the all-white of Real Madrid defending the goal towards the right. Phil Shane alongside Ray Hudson and glad you could join us. It is El Clasico. There is history to be made or added to 172nd league match between these two and Ray 231st 92 wins for Real Madrid 90 for Barcelona. It is hard to separate these two in a rivalry that dates back to the turn of the last century. Out wide on the far side, Neymar checking back. Well, for the present, Phil, wonderful look back in time. Let's think about this game that we've got on, a game of football. Nothing more, nothing less in a lot of people's eyes, but for anybody that knows Spanish football and great world rivalries, this is the pinnacle, the zenith point of two historical socio-economic clashes. But we'll see how it turns out Real Madrid come in probably their best run of form he's in he's on so though we'll stop them take a look at our starting lineups again brought to you by soccer.com it is MSN right. up front who sketches is down in pain and he's not the only one there's a free Pepe. ball that Pepe reaches in here right there the ball's 
clipped clear. Don't look as if there's too much there. I would imagine that they'll be okay. There's a little bit of a step. It misses the ball and catches Sergi on the calf, and then he goes a tumble. I think they'll both be okay. As I said, Pepe's men come in, arguably on the best uptick of form under Zidane, Phil. The last four games, they have looked as if they're getting their whole ship tightened up and together. A little bit of a calf pull, maybe. It certainly took the cleats, but certainly served Sergio, Sergio Busquets, and he looks as if he's fine now. And for Marcelo, both of these teams... Oh. Going with their star lineups, a star turn for Rakitic, in for Messi. Deflected by Modric, back to Navas. Some of the Barca fans wanting a back pass. It was a good defensive Good cover off. from Modric, yeah. Seeing that Messi had identified Neymar, who had peeled away on that far side from Carvajal. Great effort, but good cover from Luka. They'll need that sort of cover all game long. Looking for Benzema. And as much as anything, they'll need the vaunted BBC to be on the same page in a big way. We all know that MSN at the other side for Barcelona have been in operatic high note form. And offside again, again. The flag. Teasing that man with the offside flag. Very close when the ball's played in lifetime. Let's take a look. Whoa, it's a bad call, Phil. Look at Marcelo on this side. He's keeping him at least a yard on when the ball is touched. Even Sergio Ramos in the middle seems to be on the wrong side of Suarez. And for Tony Crow, starting lineup questions, Ray. Oh, maybe not that many as we see an offside flag against Bale on the far flank. Not that many for Barcelona, other than perhaps the insertion of Andres Iniesta with a huge match against Atletico on the horizon. But for Real Madrid, so many wondering whether Zinedine Zidane would put in Casemiro at the expense of Hamas. He has. How does that change Real Madrid? Well, it gives them the balance that everybody's been talking about leading up. It's taken them a while to wake up to the fact that if they're going to start playing with BBC and they're the untouchables, you're going to need a stay-at-home central defender. They've got it in Casemiro. He's going to have to have one of the best games of his life here today and be like the little Dutch boy covering all the holes in the dike everywhere because you know that this midfield of Barcelona will be in support. Their midfield have got it beautifully choreographed. Rakitic, Busquets and Iniesta both defending their back line and supporting MSN. So we'll see. And Samiro with a little push in the back. Thought he would get away with it, but no. Alejandro Hernandez, the man in the middle with the whistle. Teodoro Sobrino, Jose Naranja down the flanks, and Alexander Alemán, the fourth official. That's just the type of challenge that Real Madrid do not want. Casemiro a little bit too anxious, a little bit too wound up, diving into a ball he no chance of getting. It's one thing being aggressive, but he better pick and choose when he launches in against these super sharp Barcelona players in front of him. Victory poison. Messi will drag defense with him, trying to get it back. Deflected by Benzema, where it could have been dangerous. Good cover by Benzema. Nice rehearsed play that. They go away from the green, as is the situation with Barcelona all the time. Ignoring the ball into the box, playing it back for Mascherano, of all people, for a killer pass that was well covered by Benzema. And Neymar now on the right wing, Messi using him. And Suarez has gone out wide left. There's Rakitic. That's six minutes in, Phil. It's been all Barcelona. It could be a bit of rope-a-dope by the Royal Whites. They've got their own lethal counter-attack. Sweet touch. From Dani Alves deflecting off the head of Messi, just missing the mark. Alves and Alba down the flanks, PK and Mascherano in the middle. Of course, Mathieu out now with that meniscus injury, and it's going to keep him sidelined for maybe a month and a half. Zidane, of course, has the benefit of a fully rested and fit Benzema and Gareth Bale. Not quite the same for Barcelona's front three after all the extra air mails that they covered in the South American World Cup qualifiers. How much of a 
difference will that make? They all look sharper than a pin here. Nice play. Ronaldo oh. twirled to the ground, seemed to get tangled with Alves. The fans don't agree, but the referee a lot closer. Yep, it's a good call by the referee. And Danny coming through, clipping the ankles of the dark invader. 39 straight matches without defeat for Barcelona. That's also on the docket, a date in the history books. Bale offside again. And they're really playing these lanes very tight. All of the forwards for both teams sitting on the shoulder and gambling. Take a look again. This again looks a very, very close call, Phil. When the ball is hit, there again, that for me is still... Ah, it's down to... Uh, Dark matter. Need a microscope to find out the difference in a few of these offside calls. So, who's going to be the first to blink? Love the way the forwards are holding the run because they know they've got the players for that wonderful mutant flies eye vision in the midfield to find them over the top. Look out. He gets a soft touch wide. Run it in for Suarez. Now comes Navis to make the stop. Then the elusive run dictating the pass beautifully. Nobody picking him up. Nice ball played in over that distance again. Jordi Alba. Marcelo pressured by Rakitic, sneaks it inside nicely. Casemiro pirouettes away, seemed to get tangled and does draw the foul. This gets a pull on him as he's going around there. You can tell who's touching it by the fans' reaction. Well played by Cristiano. Cristiano down the line, draws two, cuts inside Alves, in comes Piquet, down goes Cristiano, with a goal kick. His initial turn was absolutely brilliant. Oh. And to ride the challenge of Ramos, it's 2v1. Neymar squares. Oh. Suarez missed it. Unbelievable! This is astonishing, this, and it's brilliant from Neymar. A yellow the against Ramos, who's arguing against the, the earlier foul. is calling it for the earlier one, as you say, Phil, but the breakaway sets the table for probably the worst finish you'll see in a long, long time. Ball played up right here, and you'll see the contact. Suarez comes in to the ball. There's nothing there, absolutely nothing. Neymar sees the square man running, and then all of a sudden, Suarez's feet turn into squid. That is amazing. Again, wonderful turn. It's Sergio Ramos as much as anything that's doing the fouling on Suarez. It didn't seem there's as much there, but it was a, a Donald Trump haircut of a finish by Suarez. Amazing. Oh. Touched wide, Rakitic. Well, we've been, I've been saying it for some time regarding Suarez's opportunities over this last dozen games in La Liga or so. He's been missing some chances that I was critical of. And sometimes it's just amazing how the easiest of opportunities become the more difficult one. He had so much time and space to just touch it home. A give and go. Rakitic back towards Messi. The swat has got it. Alves whistles for the foul. Hat to Neymar as well. Wonderful play by Neymar. And just putting it on a gold ingot, ingot of a altar for him. Whereas I think Neymar could have had a good case for taking the shot himself. But he knew it was 100% certainty that Suarez would put it away. Didn't happen. Trying to split the defense, Alba stepping up, here's Iniesta again. The fact, at his age now, 31, and Atletico on the horizon, probably not a 90-minute stretch for Iniesta, but it is a deep bench for Barcelona. Wasn't always that way this year. Again, Alejandro Hernandez with the whistle. It's a tight ball in from Messi, but he knows it's Sergi Busquets, arguably the best one-touch player in all of Barcelona including the number 10. That was pacing a little bit, but again, risk and reward, as it always is with Barcelona. 
okay. Stellar season for Mr. Shakira this year. And he was a bit off the boil last year. Messi with the touch. Up steps Modric. Another foul, this time against Real Madrid. Well, been a real fractious game, hasn't it? What with all of the petty fouls and the offside calls. And still Barcelona looking up at that scoreline and thinking, how can that be? Well, it'd be, and they might regret it. Stepping up Pepe, but his pass out for Benzema. Need to make an adjustment on that one. It's right back to Barcelona. Two goalkeepers that have been in absolutely tremendous form as well. Audio Bravo. Of course, the ex Colo Colo man, Chilean international. But even his brilliance this year being upstaged by the Costa Rican at the other side, Phil Navas. Uh, we'll need him here tonight by the looks in the opening 13 minutes. Kill has lived up to the pressure every time he's been called upon, saving the bacon of Real Madrid over and over. Every game he'll come out with a save that will stupefy. world-class central defender being as good as I've ever seen him play as well at our PK paired with Mascherano many thought there would be no replacing Puyol and arguably they've had to share that load but a lot of it has gone right to the Argentine shoulders and going back to that total football theme they still have him listed as a midfielder Three years on, actually four years on, since Pep Guardiola started the experiment. 14th minute as the fans make their love known. Aye, aye. Under pressure, and now tripped up. Foul against Ronaldo. Well, Neymar puts out his own fire as the cry for applause. Why it's down for a few moments. To Jordi standing next to Josep. Maria Bartomeu with his son. <laughs> Even Florentino Perez taking part. Yeah, he made the long flight from Real Madrid through the week to attend the tributes as well. He's handled this with true class, the Real Madrid president. What a scene and what sounds. Outside of the boot, caressing it into the path of Bale, tries to square, and PK makes the block. It trickles to Bravo. Again, as I said, this world class player at the back. Gerard PK never playing as good as what he's done lately. That ball allowing Gareth Bale in down that right side and Gareth just too quick for Jordi Alba. Wonderful run from Gareth Bale, but tremendous cover across that cut out the danger towards Cristiano and Benzema. Good look at Zizou. He's been on the playing side of this. Of course, it was Rafa Benitez when these two teams met earlier this season. Didn't quite work out that well for Real Madrid. The Sports.com. There's a chance to share your thoughts on Twitter, and we would love to hear from you. And don't forget, hashtag El Clasico. Inside from Alves. Slips through for Suarez. Good ball. Sends it for Neymar on Carvajal. Aye, aye. Back for Iniesta in his shot. Parried away by Ramos. Yeah, and wonderful selection from Neymar. Absolutely not perfect ignoring the one-on-one -on -one and seeing the cutback beautiful ball for Mascherano to have a spank Neymar to the inside sneaks it in for Messi tried to lay it back smart from Carvajal well played that was tricky dealt with it beautifully Dani Alves read the spin advantage played as Cross got a touch. Barca doesn't stop though. 
Messi in the center of the park. Now for oh. Suarez, part of a howl from oh. behind, and as he sighed through Iniesta to try and win it back, it's our first booking. Well, Suarez takes a blade initially, and then the second one comes out for the illusionista. Again, razor sharp passing from Barcelona. Questioning passes. Here's the first one. That's a direct kick through Cavajal from Cavajal right through Suarez here. No opportunity to play the ball. And then the second one is even worse. Cavajal deserved yellow card. Unable to contain the pass as much as the control. Again, penalty to football from Barcelona with their passing over that distance. They look extremely sharp. Only the first caution of the match. Alejandro Hernandez starting the wheel. Let's see. Trying to bring it home, but over Navas's net. Hernandez, this is 21st appearance, only his third full season as a top flight ref in Spain. Averages about four yellows a match. Only six ejections on the season, but he has pointed to the spot nine times in those 20 matches. And you kind of sense a penalty might be the difference here. Here's Ronaldo. Tries to split two. Decked as he and Iniesta collide. Fair play, says the referee. Now it's 3v6. Good tackle. But up steps Casemiro. Oh, speaking of stepping up, it's Rakitic. A slip by Pepe. Suarez, Pepe back in time. Rakitic, oh. down quickly goes Navas to save Real Madrid again. Tremendous play by Suarez, and then it forced the Rakitic. And another sting of a shot. This has gone out of play. Rakitic absolutely sizzles this one, and that man again. Keila Navas, the Costa Rican, comes to the rescue. What? Clearance by Pepe, he doesn't get anywhere near and touch or distance in Rakitic. And then this black cat lives up to the strip that Lev Yashin used to wear and compliments it beautifully. Brilliant again from Keila. Lancing header, Ronaldo, but it's intercepted by PK. And you talk about that race, something we talked about in the pregame. Ray Cordero bringing it up. It's all one, everyone talking about Gigi Buffon and the man that used to patrol the nets here for Real Madrid, and that was Iker Casillas. If it wasn't a Costa Rican passport, you kind of wonder how great people would say Navas is. They His teammates in. have no doubt. Yep. Neither do I. It's a wonderful stop. Again, the slow motion doesn't do it justice, Phil. That was sizzled by the Croatian international wearing the number four. Blondi Rakitic. Samiro definitely sticking his spanner in the works of Barcelona a number of times. Yes, sir. Over for PK. A great ball. Messi gets around Casemiro this time, but they play him to his right. Up steps Ramos. Strong step in by Ronaldo. Benzema now for Kroos. But no one to pass it to. Gareth Bale tucking back way deep in that defensive setup for Real Madrid and doing well. But then when Real Madrid gained possession, through Benzema, Gareth not able to make up that space. He usually lives on that far right-hand side, way up the field, doing his defensive duties well, as is Cristiano. Alba on the overlap, Neymar on his inside. Brought down. Nothing. That's what the fans thought, Casemiro in the neighborhood. They'll be leaving his naughty. Calling card time and time again. It's doing a good job. Look out. Gets out for Neymar. Pokes in Suarez. Oh. Neymar gets it back. But couldn't get over the ball. Beautiful give and go between the Uruguayan and the Brazilian. But look at Messi's run as well. If we see this again, it's a wonderful give and go. And Messi had read 
for the third pass coming in, but Neymar decides to go for the strike home, which he has absolutely the privilege of doing. The way he's playing has been absolutely superb so far, Neymar. Oh, it's harassed from behind. Ramos getting us started back for Marcelo. Barcelona putting pressure on Real Madrid in their own end. Oh, outlet pass oh. almost. Bale trying to cut inside Alba but couldn't. It's a wonderful ball from Tony Cross and Alba hesitates for that split second and Gareth Bale waiting like a hungry vulture for that ball to settle and it just gets whisked away from him because he was one on one with Alba and it wouldn't have been a contest had you been able to rein that ball in. He would have been in through on Claudio Bravo with his pace. On the throw in into the six, out comes Ooh. Bravo. Bobbles, but he gets there first. Alves with some space. And you see Gareth Bale taking the moisture off that ball. He's look out. Marcelo with a touch, but it's straight to Suarez. His pass may be deflected behind Messi. It was Marcelo's intervention rather than a clear pass. Good covering from the ex flu man. A ball. Again, straight up the throw. 3v3, Messi with Neymar. Messi in the box. Ramos got the touch and he gets the call. Fans think it should be a penalty and they might have a shout. The Messi's got wonderful support from Suarez and Neymar either side of him he ignores both because he knows he's got the defender dead the rates and the cutback is inside the box and this is going to be very interesting to take a look at a brave non-call from the referee but is it the right one and i mentioned he calls an average of almost a penalty every other game that's wow. about as close as you can get and it's messy who tends not to go down certainly and he's still arguing can it believe it? We'll take a look when we can. It was a very close call, I felt. Fans letting their thoughts be known. Here's Modric. Ronaldo screaming for good it. Ball. Has a good angle. Bends him on the middle if he can find him. Next Nicely. inside Mascherano Magic. into the box. Left foot parried by Bravo. Cristiano Ronaldo playing top draw football. The 31 year old Portuguese. They're in again. Nice from Modric, here's Carvajal, Ronaldo in the middle if he can find him, sends it across, Bale bends him up, flips it into PK, trying to clear, Bale on the left, but he couldn't bring that one down. Uh, he hurries this shot, he's never going to strike this one, here's the replay, outside of the box, it's a certain free kick, but there's no penalty, he's outside of the penalty area, but that's a tackle that comes on along Messi's knees, with the ball nowhere close. Now the question, and the maybe question is that Sergio Ramos is gambling. He knows he's done up like a kipper here. And he's got no chance of containing Messi. He gambles outside of the box. He knew where he was. He gambled. He won. And how huge would it have been? Ramos already with a yellow. Could have even been a second there. Shout, Phil. 20 minutes left to go. Messi pops back up after Casemiro's challenge. Neymar, if there is a player on the planet who is close to epitomizing what Cruyff used to be as a player, it might well be Neymar. Perhaps appropriate, he's wearing the Blaugrana. Uh, two horses of a totally different color, though, Phil, in my eyes. And here, look, it's outside. He knows that Messi's done him, and he's just throwing up the left foot roadblock Sergio's left foot turns into a machete and Messi makes no attempt to dive his legs are taken and you can't run without your legs and Sergio Ramos knows the referee has a clear look at it down goes Pepe Suarez's reputation may be getting the better of him did the hand come up to the face first caution against Barcelona and it comes with a cost Measuring him up, yeah, and a little forearm to the chin, although Pepe 
Uh, let's just say he might be up for best supporting actor. I don't know about that, Phil. I think that's an intentional elbow to the face by and then Suarez. He grabs his he eyes. Shows where he turns around to find out where Pepe is. And you saw the action. We look at this every time, and there you see there's a touch of the ball before. It looked as if on all of the replays prior to that that he was nowhere near the ball, but on that, <laughs> how much good fortune there is there that when he's trying to put his leg across, I'm not just sure he was trying to play the ball, but it's arguable now after that replay, and Pepe is saying, yeah, that action was there, which it was. OK, with a tangle with Benzema, getting it free to Busquets, and a Magic. beautiful pass. Alba. Suarez will miss the next match against La Real Sociedad. That's on the other side of their Atletico Madrid opener in Champions League play. Well, may not be the most expectant classical, but there's certainly been plenty for the lads and lasses to talk about at half time around the bars and living rooms of the world. Right. A lot of controversy and offside calls and open chances missed on free kicks not called a wonderful game right on the edge after half an hour in for neymar again well defended by modric 10 point gap to start the oh. day chance on an outlet and it's a full head of steam for gareth bale good run bends him up bale decked maybe maybe they could have let it run but instead it's mascherano in the book it's a tremendous position, this one. By either Gareth or Cristiano, Mascherano comes across with a slide tackle and takes the player. That one, less of a controversy. Mascherano knows he's got to get there real quick. He has the left elbow, comes in through a jackknife type of action and... Good call by the ref from my eyes. Now take a look at this. It's just a hair under 35 yards out. Maybe Long way. a bit of distance, but Ronaldo has quite the leg. Well, it looks as if it's going to be CR7 with his five-step back and good slinger pause. Now what's going on at the other end? Navis and Carvajal in the center circle debating the finer points. A wonderful opportunity. Cristiano to step up in a big game. He hasn't done it in the big games against the big teams but of late. But here he knows this is a wonderful opportunity. The ones that he practices all week long. All lifted up and doesn't quite drop over. Bravo can thank his lucky stars. Well, both superstars on each side of this footballing pitch being presented with Opportunities that they usually are a lot more closer to the net, but as you say, both Navas and Bravo sign relief. All goes the other way. Marcelo tried to dribble through. 15 minutes left to go in this opening half. Hey, no, you're not a huge fan of statistics, let alone math, but a 10 point gap. Eight games left to go. In some ways, taking the pressure of the title out. These two teams just get a chance to play. That's right, yep. Putting all ties from that, you're right, Phil. And they look as if they're playing with pretty good abandon. Real Madrid have been defending as best they can with the three forwards as well. And keeping this scoreline down and starting to creep back into the game now, Real Madrid. Starting to leave the long grass and coming up and hunting Finding Gareth Bale on that far side, probably more than Cristiano on this side. You may fancy that matchup against Jordi Alba a little bit more. Well, didn't work out too well for Mark Bartra in recent memory. Uh, Benzema with a poor touch, maybe didn't oh. see Busquets. And then uh, Nutmeg is played through Benzema as if his giveaway wasn't embarrassing enough. time matches between these two it's 264 including the friendlies Barcelona a little bit better in those unofficial matches back in the early days 109 wins to 96 in La Liga play 
It's 71 for Real Madrid and 68 for Barcelona. 32nd minute ticking to a close. Baker's dozen left to go. Neymar out wide, tries to come in, does Alba. Well, ball again by Jordi Alba leads to this. Good ball, nice from nearly. Carvajal, but right in the perfect position, Mascherano. Didn't need to play it into Benzema's feet, did he? he what a wonderful cow's field behind the back line. He has to strip. Here's Just Marcelo. hit that space and send off your forward nice from like Benzema. this. Bale with speed. You get it. Gets to it with the outside of that gifted left. Tries to drive it in, but Alba was ready. Casemiro. Marcelo, the left back, over on the right wing. And he makes a good pass in for Modric. Dunga might not like him, but Zidane loves him. And here's Marcelo again. Tried to drive it through Busquets, but now out of position. Lifting it forward, a chance for Neymar. Real Madrid in full retreat here. Pepe over. Oh. Pepe in. Nice tackle by the Brazilian-born Portuguese Tremendous defender. Tremendous reading of Neymar there. A wonderful intervention by the Portuguese man on the Brazilian. Marcelo again. Playmates for Ronaldo around Alves. Drops to the top of the box. Late to the party was Bale. Alves Look at stepping that in. Play from Sergio Busquets. In his own penalty area, with three white shirts in there. If he doesn't get that touch, then it bounced up to him. Cool is the seed inside the cucumber. Again, Busquets. 28-year-old Rakitic, part of that great Croatian side gearing up for the Euros. And that's in the future. Could be a hero here today. Uh, excuse me. Choked up. 35th minute. AT&T sideline reporter Kevin Egan at the camp. No, Kevin, what did you see? It's interesting, Phil. I'm sitting about 20 yards from Luis Enrique. Every single time the official on this near side ventures towards the halfway line, Luis Enrique is giving him an earful about that penalty incident in the 24th minute. Clearly he and his assistant as well, Juan Carlos Unzue, uh, feel that that was an absolute penalty to Barcelona that was not given. Well, they're both wrong, Kevin. I'll tell you that, because it was outside of the box and there was a little touch on the ball by Sergio Ramos, although I don't think he meant it. I think he meant <laughs> to take Messi down. And in that action, he cleat seems to touch the ball, but very close. I thought it was a free kick for sure. Like any good manager, though, trying to use it to his advantage sure. for later. Yeah, well said, Phil. Rakitic written off the ball by Ronaldo. Up steps Alves to win it back. Ball. Chance on the far flank now for Iniesta. Nicely. Oh. Poor touch Suarez. The defect, the deflection goes though towards Alba, who can't control, and a throw yeah, in from Madrid. Absolutely right, Phil. It wasn't the best of balls from Suarez. The intention was 100% right. Feeding in Neymar, who had a couple of yards in front of his defender, but he doesn't find him. Mascherano rocketing in on that throw in to steal it back Rakitic far side Neymar offside cool night you see a few jackets in the background temperature just above 60 great call this a little late coming back and a good step up by Pepe and Carvajal both of them well good humor being displayed hasn't been a dirty game at all but contentious it has close to Marcelo Looking long, but Alba plays it perfectly. Barcelona founded in 1899. Real Madrid three years later, in fact, just celebrating their 114th anniversary at the start of this month. And this width here from Barcelona allowing Messi to drop back into that danger areas. Dani Alves pushes up wide. Great ball. Such thought with danger. There was little dagger balls at Busquets players, but every one of them's like a last dart of 180. 
As he overruns the ball. Collision behind the play. Looked like it might have been a kick to the knee. Hernandez could have let this one run, but elects to stop the play. Or a stinger, we hope. Um, it's a collision of the knees, Messi reaching in, and you'll see right here the knee comes right to Casemiro. No intention there by Lionel. But Ray, remember earlier this season it was the reverse of that against Pedro Bigas that knocked Messi out for two months, or rather innocuous challenge. A lot different that, Phil. But the point is well made, well taken. Casemiro. Still a little limp as he tries to make sure everything's in the right place. Seven minutes and change left to go in regulation. I think he'll be happy to get into this locker room with this scoreline. The threat that his team have produced. It may be still looking for the go-ahead goal, but they've defended as well as they could against the Barcelona team that isn't doing too much wrong. Could have been so different. Can't wait for the lads in the locker room to see in the halftime show, rather, about that miss from Suarez, because that is the biggest of all of the controversies here in this game so far. Unlucky. Almost in stride for Bale, but Piquet under pressure just plays it out. Yeah. Diamond of a ball here from Marcelo, and Gareth Bale applauds it. The intention was beautifully executed until, again, Gerard Piquet covering here there and everywhere Those have lost just one of their last seven in league at home against Real Madrid that was back in 2012 looking for the flick here at the near post driven in at that near six headed clear by Alves top of the box for Neymar Good cover kind of a how all the way back. Not a sending it long, but no one in position. Decisions to be made. One of them was this. Casemiro in the starting lineup and James Rodriguez to the bench. They wanting an offside. Hundred million dollar man, a spectator. Maybe still an impact to make. Always impactful. The Colombian, absolutely brilliant in the World Cup qualifiers. What a ball! The goal, Alba. Oh. But he got tangled with Ronaldo, who wins the foul call. Can be praising the dark invader for his covering jobs, and he does it again. And he needs to do it here. It's a magisterial pass from Messi right into stride and they think they've got another holding call nothing given again the madness of Messi's ingenuity simply insane brilliant pass and Cristiano doing his cover work very well look like Jordi showing Barcelona president Josep Bartomeu on his cell phone. This is what my dad used to do. It's a suspicion of a hold, though, on Cristiano, but he knew the pass was so impeccable that he had to do something. Take another look at it at half time. Well, chipped in over everyone. Deflected, though. Rakitic a chance. Marcelo out. It's a good header down to Casemiro. Ronaldo flips it. Piquet trying to come over behind Benzema, but no. Don't forget the Express Halftime Show brought to you by the redesigned Volkswagen Passat. Zinedine Zidane doing a pretty good job redesigning this Real Madrid. A far cry from what we saw at the Bernabeu just a few months ago. Yeah, he's changed his lineups from time to time, looking for the right formula. He's got a good balance here today. Interesting game, wonderful play from the illusionista. Ghosts around, wants it back. Neymar in, but over Messi. Coming in, Alves! Just off target. Well, Brazilian cannot resist this, and who can blame him? It's a bouncing ball, he's got the space and time to adjust his gyroscope. Neymar sees the invite at that far corner, and Danny just cannot catch that half volley sweet enough to keep the ball steered down. 
Uh, worthy attempt, though. Still scoreless. Three minutes left, Ray, and we have not seen a scoreless halftime in league play since going back to 2011. So close, that one. One or two degrees of separation that costs Dani Alves the opportunity of bursting the net and sailing a couple of feet over. Just one or two degrees. I haven't seen a scoreless half of the Camp No in a Classico since 2009 when Ibra scored the game winner in the second half. Pretty big weekend himself for PSG. Ball in, PK out. Driven back, oh, yeah. Benzema oh. on the ball. But he could not duplicate his form. This time it's wide. And again, we've seen this brilliant Frenchman put these away with his hands over his eyes. But this time he's like a fish up a tree with this finish. Way, way over. Can it adjust it down? And he would love to see that opportunity come back. He will tonight in his dreams. Now keeping a few numbers back. Do not want to surrender a goal before the break if they can oh, avoid it. What a Casemiro got the ball and Neymar down in a heap. He needed to get that one. Neymar ghosted by him. Look out. First of speed from Bale. Deflected cross. It's out for a corner and a chance for Real. Not sure that Casemiro will get more important tackles to make. And he thinks it's a foul again. Both the coaches going through all sorts of conniptions and loving what he sings from time to time. The good opportunity here. Sergio Ramos will be the target, but he's got other big men. Gareth Bale, Benzema, Casemiro, look out. Cross. Pepe in. Watts Rakitic flying in, and he steps on Ramos in the process, but it was Ramos who seemed to be knocking the Croatian off balance as well. Comes across here bravely, Rakitic, because he sees Sergio Ramos winding up to push this one away, if I'm not mistaken, Phil. Sergio Ramos strikes through on a ball that he thinks is going to meet that left foot, right foot. Take a look again, all sorts of pushing and shoving. It happens all the time. This won't be the opportunity we're looking for. Sergio Ramos here goes up for it and that's brave defending by Rakitic in the follow through from Sergio Ramos with that right leg catches the Croatian if Ivan doesn't get there that time that one would have been catapulted home by the Spanish World Cup winner Ramos Another player that's having a very quiet, impressive game is the number four for Barca. Working, as he always does, himself into the ground, but just a wonderful cerebral player as well. Plus, he's got the heart the size of a pig. Messi, with only about 40 seconds of added time left. Rakitic, but it turned left. Yep. And it looks like Kaylor Navas and Claudio Bravo will be able to keep the sheets clean. Goes for goal here, and he's got two players running inside of the box. As always, Neymar and Suarez. But goes for the top corner, well away. Not coming up to half time, Phil. Get myself into the oxygen <laughs> tank. In a wonderful pulsating game. I need a few spare tanks before this one yeah. is over. Well, that's going to do it for the opening half. Both teams with chances. Keepers getting the job done, though. And at the Camp No, we are scoreless at the break. Back with more as our Volkswagen Express halftime show comes your way. Plenty to recap, plenty to look forward to. with Phil Shane and Ray Hudson with more on the first half. Thanks, guys. And as we get set for the start of this second half, Ray, we haven't seen quite that classical fire yet. 
yeah, yeah, it's more like a regular sort of La Liga game in my eyes. It's been a wonderful, contentious game, great skill, wonderful opportunities, plenty of missed chances, plenty of controversy. So it's got it all. I've got a feeling that something's going to give. Either somebody's going to get sent off or somebody's going to score as the vulture looks down. Well, let's take a look at the sideline of the Camp Nou with another AT&T sideline check. Kevin Egan, what you got? Indeed, Phil. I heard Andres Cordero at the break talk about Real Madrid potentially playing with fire. And looking at the body language of Zinedine Zidane throughout the first half, he obviously doesn't think so. He remains quite emotionless. The only time Zizou has gotten quite active uh, with his emotions was when Pepe needlessly gave the ball away. And one other time when the ball was played across to Benzema and he skied over the bar, Zizou gave a wry look and nearly thought to himself, you know, maybe I would have scored that. Now, as the second half gets set to get underway, who will be the hero? Who will be the GOAT? There's plenty of superstars out there to make the difference. I think there's going to be a goal or two in this second half, Phil. But Real Madrid has got the bench that could perhaps make a difference later on in this game as well. So, plenty of thrills and spills, twists and turns, ups and downs, just like the way we like it. 0-0 at the half. First time that's happened to the Camp no since 2009. Tackle. Iniesta in for Busquets. Back to Mascherano wonderful, and they keep the ball moving. Wonderful reaching from Mascherano earlier. Regained possession for Barca. In a very even game in terms of the possession. Look out. Neymar drops it back. Messi with a little chip. Out comes the punch of Navis straight to Ronaldo. Well, well claimed by Kila Navas there, but didn't quite get the height and distance. Taking over the driving wheel away from Sergio Ramos. It looked as if he was just going to head it clear. Oh. Ramos rather easily dispossessed on that chance. Marcelo drops it back. Now it's Ramos under pressure. Hey. Neymar. A chance to take advantage, but can't. Pepe tries to dribble through three and gives up the ball. Neymar finds a little gap. Splits the two midfielders and cross and Modric and tumbles. But no whistle from the man that counts. Here's PK. Big dog thought about hunting. Now leaves it for Modric on the turn again. It's Suarez. Now Ramos already has one caution. And that's what Barca's is arguing about. But you can imagine, this is amazing from the referee. It's wonderful from Ivan Rakitic ahead of this, and that is a clear foul. And arguably an easy call for the referee to make for the yellow card. And he cannot believe it either. Wonderful dexterity on the run by Neymar, having his defenders stretched out across like a wonderful line of white linen and tiptoeing through the tulips was Neymar but then the World Cup winners having debate about that last challenge I think Sergio Ramos very very fortunate to get away with that one Phil as Rick Rakitic had set it up beautifully for Suarez a great turn by the Uruguayan again now can this man adjust his gyroscope or is it going to be Samba time They'll leave it for Messi, drives it towards that upper corner, but no real need to sweat by Navas. Again, by his high standards. Ugly as Frog's breath. It's a second grade look at the goal and hasn't had one on target. Very uncharacteristic from Lionel. Last time a Classico ended scoreless back in 2002, November of 2002. Zinedine Zidane, a player for Real Madrid, Luis Enrique, a player for Barcelona at that time, but neither took part in that match. Today, their first Clásico against each other as managers. As you see at the top of the screen, some history between Johan the two the coaches back. as well, Luis Enrique and Zizou. 
in those playing days that you're talking about. Oh, that's a good turn again. Nicely covered this time. That was quick off the line, but Ramos didn't want and to wait. See those two men in this technical areas. They were at each other's throat when they used to play against each other. You see it's all forgotten about now. You see the pictures of the challenges from one another. There's one in particular out there that Suzu has Gucci and Ricky by the throat. <laughs> Did not actually scored in his first two Clasicos, and Luis Enrique followed up with a game tying goal the next year. You can only root on the Warriors today. Nice interchange between Iniesta and Messi been going on throughout this game. Very difficult, confusing the Real Madrid holding three, which has been pretty much a lot this game. Casemiro and Tony Cross and out. A touch by Neymar again. Suarez tripped up. Whoa. Up steps Casemiro, Whoa. but it falls for Neymar. Fakes with his right, back to his left, in for Messi, but just behind. And Bale back on defense. Good hustle by Alba. Aldridge trying to keep up with Neymar. Rakitic. And Ronaldo pounces. Many times Neymar trying to keep up with himself as well. Changes his mind so many times. It's a good ball. In for Benzema. Takes it off the chest. Look drives out. on Piquet. Left Ooh. foot shot. Down goes Gerard. Rebound Marcelo and it's blocked away. Again, staunch defending from Barcelona. Brilliant from the Frenchman. Picks it up and sees his options and fancies himself one-on-one -on -one against Piquet who reads him beautifully. And again... Top class. It's that wonderful turn again. He says, keep him coming. Look out again. Chance for cross. Walked away. Top of the box. It's Dani Alves grabbing his face. The nut in the mouth here, I believe. And some of the rolling around has got to be said. It's a little bit... Uh, we're going to say over the top, but then you see the elbow and the arm coming right across from Ramos, and it's fully into the face of the side of Dani Alves. Slow motion doesn't look much like anything, but live time, the arms coming up, swinging. Great opportunity again for the Whites. Close again, another in swinger. Bravo, a yard off his line. Changes things up, dropping it to Marcelo. Squares for Modric. A bit off oh! And it deflects, but Bravo read it well. Well, I don't think it's a deflection, Phil. I think this is an intentional back heel flick by Gareth Bale. This claims for the offside, it's not given, but fortunately for Barcelona, Odio Bravo had read it beautifully. Take a look. Hit by Modric, Gareth Bale is in an offside position for sure, but watch the Ibracadabra. It's a good effort by Gareth, even though he is off. Now they're stepping in, but Iniesta wanted it more. Here's Messi, 499 career goals. Could have turned there, he had the space behind him, Messi. That is historic 50th for Argentina. Marcelo keeps it going quickly. It's a smart ball. 2v5, but it's Benzema and Ronaldo. Nicely. Bale trailing. Rakitic back, but he can't get there. Tremendous covering again from the Croatian. Recognizing the one-on-one -on -one is too much danger. The easy clip and call by Rakitic against the Brazilian. Samiro off target. Rakitic just jogging into the path. Now again, it's Messi. 449 goals career for Barca. I know we'd love to dedicate another one to Johan Cruyff, but Real has something else in mind. Well, I think Messi might have as well. Certainly playing a, within a gear of himself, Phil. I think that flight from and the amount of energy put in for Argentina certainly looks as if it's taken a bit of a toll on Lionel. Messi trying to shut down the Frenchman. Get some help. I haven't seen much of Carvajal pushing forward. Understandable. Something to do with MSN. Yeah, it's good discipline. And Real Madrid. That's nice play again from Suarez. Suarez keeps it in, but 
coming over to cover was oh. brilliant play from Suarez. It was. And again. Neymar jumps in front of Pepe. The fourth minute ticking down. Good ball in for Messi. Has an angle. Messi in for Suarez. Back for Messi. Top of the box. Chipping it up. Slipped away by Navas. World class again from Costa Rica, man. Messi looks at him and says he's not human. This is an amazing save. It's ingenuity up in the chart by Messi. He doesn't pull the trigger. He gets his side wedge out. It's painted in the top corner. Killer Navas grows his nails three inches long to deny. What a great effort, Phil. Absolutely, absolutely magisterial with the effort. And the save was magisterial. This will swing away. In for oh. Ronaldo to clear, but actually, Busquets got there first. In the early part of this game, I've been singing this man's praises all day long. That he will come up with saves like this to take your breath away and to put your jaw on the ground. This isn't just international class. This is his class. This is all world class from the man in black. And what a goal that would have been from Lionel. And swinger from Neymar. Clicked on Rakitic, oh. and Ramos combined. Just as well he gets there because there's a frog's hair between this ball Finding Carvajal and finding Piqué. Hey, look at that. Messi. The little wrecking ball plowing into Pepe there. Full of intention and malice from Messi. Oh, whipped in the spot. It's Piqué. And this one won't be stopped. He rises in front. He rises like the salmon out of the fresh summer stream. The net. It's bad defending. And Gerard Piquet don't care. And he goes Shakira Disco. A wonderful, wonderful header. Down and dirty he goes. He bounces it in. Like the Barnes Wallace bomb. He defies convention. Real Madrid punished. Barcelona have been trying to punish Real Madrid downstairs. But this time they go up. Pepe tries to get close to him. And Pique says, I'll see you on the other side. Wonderful. Peeling away like tissue on the toilet roll. Oh, Pique, he's got a nanosecond. And it produces a terabyte of skill. He's been having a great game defensively. And in the end, he says, to hell with this MSN, I'll show them how to do it. Messi finds a little gap, eludes Casemiro, off to Neymar. Oh. Marcelo gets his backside in the way. Neymar just cannot find enough rainbow on that pass to take it over the top of Marcelo into even Rakitic. Oh, the breakthrough goal coming from the bearded boy, PK, who sends his love way back to his little boy and Shakira. It's a wonderful header. I'm telling you, he probably knows I cannot go upstairs with this header and angle it horizontally. I've got to go down, and he bounces it V-type. And no chance even for the Costa Rica man. Chop the greatest gear from the greatest game in the world at soccer.com. Second goal of the season for PK. Rakitic puts it in perfectly. And here, not quite so perfect. He said there was a goal in it, Ray. Is there a second? Oh, I think there is, Phil. And as you say, Zidane getting his man warmed up with good skill. Nail top of the box as it trickles through it's the legs. ball. Ronaldo against Alves. Ronaldo oh. beaten by Pique. A credit to Cristiano. He takes on Rakitic and he goes past him. He doesn't go down easily. 
But then again, the cover behind Rakitic is impeccable from the Blaugrana shirts. Time and time again, whether it's Gareth or Benzema or Cristiano, after they get past the first player, Barcelona insurance policy and defence has been tremendous. Not one player above another is the team concept. They've all got each other's backs. What response now from Zidane's men? Chance for Alves. Shooting a bit more than in recent years, not quite back to his Sevilla days. We'll pass it off this time. This gets from Messi with the goal. Barcelona will be a bit more patient. Lazio against Roma is not the only derby of note. The Clasico hitting Spaniard against Spaniard or against Catalan. And now it's Roma divided in two. Check out BMSports.com for details. Don't forget the South Florida Derby in an NASL debut later today. Strikers against Miami. Rakitic out wide. Here's Alves. 30 minutes to go. 23 straight unbeaten in La Liga. 39 straight unbeaten overall. Best unbeaten streak in Spanish history. Oh, what Busquets. a ball from Busquets. Suarez drops it back for Messi. Back for the <sighs> Uruguayan, lifting it through, but good cover by Ramos. Wonderful setup by Messi for Suarez, and it's an inviting volley that he ignores on the return past the Messi. It's nowhere close, and it leads to this wonderful pickpocket and again by who? By the biggest insurance policy you'll see in world football, Sergi Busquets. Kutic. For close. Amazing the Suarez didn't launch through that ball, Phil, after the wonderful setup by Messi. Messi and Pepe renewing acquaintances. Bale okay. dispossessed Alba. And here's Iniesta. That did not expect to see a full 90 from Don Andres, but he's still out there. Atletico Madrid looming around the horizon. Of course, maybe a slightly easier tilt for Real Madrid, but they will be on the road against Wolfsburg. Uh, that may be in your mind, Phil, as a top-class analyst and commentator, but I'll tell you what, it's the furthest thing from these players' minds. Is it the furthest from Luis Enrique, who has to field an 11? I think so. Confidence breeds confidence, and the way his team have played here so far is going to be enriching to them, but Real Madrid will never say die. Here comes Marcelo. Good run. Nicely. To the inside. Brilliant. Second touch. Sees up cross, deflected, and the overhead by Benzema slices it home to tie the game up. Just as I said, they'll never see it die. Wonderful run by the brilliant Marcelo. It's kind of pulled it home by Big Benz beautifully. And he needs no help this time. He needs help like a shark needs a dentist. But it's all Marcelo for me. It's wonderful. He draws the Barcelona defenders in. It takes a deflection, fortunately, right here. Take a look, Jordi Alba gets the assist. He can't cut it out. It takes a bloop, and it's brilliant by Benz. That one stays ground level. Piquet cuts it out. Yep. But what a run. Look at the genesis of that goal again from the ex-Fluminense man. Maybe Wonderful you. cutting across, inviting the challenges that weren't coming, and they're just forcing Marcelo Wade. And that was OK. And it led to the goal. This gets in for Messi, chipping it in for Neymar. Neymar! Navas stops it, but it wouldn't have counted anyway. Offside flag comes up. Again, as elusive as an eel covered in Vaseline, Neymar, he cannot pick him up. It's like trying to pick up water. Wonderful jackrabbit pace. Very, very close to being offside here when the ball's played and possibly was. 
and the right decision again by a few inches. Rakitic back for Alves. Maybe Johan upstairs wanted to see a little bit more magic from this Classico encounter. Knotted up at one. Well, Didn't see a goal for 56 minutes. We see two and seven. He was never satisfied, that's for sure. <laughs> Sounding like a man who had to deal with him a few times. Yeah, played against the great man. And, and uh, something that you'll never forget. The greatest football player I've ever played against. And I've played against a lot of the greats. Bestie, Pelé, Beckenbauer. Nobody like Cruyff. Oh, poked forward by Casemiro. Benzema it battling for it, but no. A wonderful execution, wasn't it, from Benzema? He's got to make his mind up in a nanosecond and really produce a wonderful acrobatic finish and hits it clean with malice. Iniesta. Alba on his horse, just got a shoe to it. A little too far for Neymar, though. Samido under pressure, could not find Bale, who's been rather invisible in the second half, maybe through no fault of his own. Again, the lead up for Modric, and then there comes off the back heel of Alba, who absolutely pounds into the ground at Camp Nou. He cannot blame PK really either because the bloop takes it away from what he had expected to be the ball played in and that slight deviation in the air set the table for Karim and the Karim rises to the top again inside for Iniesta 21st goal for Benzema tying his high watermark in Spain Still in the race for the Pichichi. Alves looks away, finds Messi, hangs it in the air for Alba. Alba, Carvajal able to come away with it. Carvajal sees it poked away, and it's out. Time now for an AT&T sideline check. Here's Kevin Egan. Yes, Phil, and a reminder to go to Twitter and vote on our poll. Should Luis Suarez have received a red card for the elbow on Pepe earlier in the match? Do get your vote in there. And a quick thought on the Barcelona corner goal from PK. The assistant coach, Luis Enrique's assistant coach, his name is Juan Carlos Unzue. He steps up in place of Luis Enrique for every set play. A free kick around the goal and also a corner. That was not an accident. That was purposely by design. Neymar came across. And when all the players were celebrating after PK scored the goal. Javier Mascherano ran across to Juan Carlos Unzue and congratulated him. Back to you, Phil. Well, on the defensive side, maybe no congratulations, though, as they see the deflection up and buried. Thanks, Kevin. 1-1 the score at the Camp Nou. All level at the end of 90 if this score holds. Just one step closer towards a title. Barcelona, 23-time champions. Of course, Real Madrid with a record 32. Oh, almost to Suarez, but Pepe contorts himself. Good cover, and then again, he cannot contain him. There's another look at that rainbow that finds the pot of gold that is called Karim Benzema. No chance for PK. He stretches his eyebrows to get it and just cannot get that touch that would have taken it away from Benz. Suarez trying to force his way free. Carvajal soars over Busquets. Iniesta, an errant touch, the first of the match. Close. Smacks that one to midfield. Bale uses his speed, draws Mascherano out of position, Good back ball. to the middle. This is where Bale likes it. They're overloaded on that left. Gets it to Benzema, back for Bale, left foot caress, and he needed to put more on it. Easy for Bravo. Yeah, needed to really step through that and sizzle that one home, but goes for the placement instead of the power. Understandably so, perhaps, but easy pickings for the boss of man. Oh. Good build up that from Real Madrid again. Game very level. Very level. Great response from the Royal Whites and Cristiano. Still to leave his fingerprints. Is this it? He's on! 
Ronaldo, the oh. flag coming up. Ronaldo. It's a wonderful run by Cristiano. He tries to hold his horizontal run and he waits and waits. You don't see it there, but Cristiano was running a good 15, 20 yards before. And when it was in the possession of Benzema, waiting for that invitation to be presented, then he would have started his run. But again, a split second off with the timing. Chance on the turn. Suarez keeps his balance but can't keep the ball. 70th minute reached. Talked about that potential red against Suarez. There could be just a, much of an argument that Sergio Ramos had two chances for a second yellow. So give credit to Alejandro Hernandez. He's, I guess, impartially blind. Nothing really egregious. Here a good Ooh. step up by Ramos, but oh. he forgot something. Messi. Messi trying to find the nutmegs through Sergio Ramos to find Suarez, who was still on the ground, thought Messi was going to go solo there. Chance for Alves against his compatriot Marcelo. Messi knocks it down. Suarez oh. slams it down. Maybe a deflection, but it's wide of Navas's net. And lovely little knockdown header by Messi to find Suarez. And his left foot meets a bouncing ball, and that's a great cover by Casemiro. Could be a corner. Absolutely. Barcelona. 20 minutes away, even from a draw, from extending its unbeaten streak to 40, which would tie Nottingham Forest on the all-time list back in the glory days of Brian Clough. Moving across, Nava stays back. And Neymar saying, what did I do? By the way, all-time mark. Celtic with 62 unbeaten, but that was way back in 1915. Nothing there. Still historic for Barcelona, and they're not done yet. Good run again. They are finding that pocket in the middle. This Ronaldo unable to get past Alves. Arda Turan loosening up on the sideline. We wonder again with Atletico looming whether Iniesta's day might be done. Ronaldo sneaks it in. Bale but on his right foot. Elects to lay it off. Back to Casemiro. Would a draw keep the momentum for Madrid? Give them a slight heartbeat, wouldn't it? But now they need the full three. They're going to see. But for their confidence in a game like this, point will be taken at the end of it all. But don't even think about a draw because he isn't, and he is definitely not. They're coming out and really bravely taking the game to Barcelona, leaving themselves high and stretched despite the lightning that is waiting up front. 73rd minute as Turan hands over his card. Carlos Naval seems to have been on that Barcelona bench forever. Don't forget the NASL debut on BN Sports, the South Florida Derby with you look Miami against the Strikers. We've got BN Sports for all the NASL news. The Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Uh, you guys went away to Minnesota for a while, but that was a while ago. My great city full mention. We might be back in MLS play. Nice chance now for Ronaldo. Gets it back. Oh. What a tackle from the Camp No. Unlucky from Benzema to find Cristiano just checking his run. It's the right pass to the right man. Unlucky. Real Madrid. Final touch for Iniesta. Could be Rakitic as well. Head bail on this right hand side as well, one on one. Magic. Sneaking it in, but Neymar oh. can't control. And Marcelo oh, just spanks it away. The dark heavens above Camp No here, Neymar. It just pops away from him. Wonderful play again from Lionel. 
And it is Rakitic who will be coming out. Yeah, he has poured himself into this game. Some serious work. He better hit the ground running. He has been phenomenal in this game. And an applause for me, not loud enough. Tremendous performance. Well, here comes the Turk, maybe for the final cut. But imagine this means that Iniesta will be in a supplementary role against Turan's old Atleti midweek. Has not been a glorious debut, or should we say half a debut. Turan and oh, Vidal both having to spend half a season in mothballs. Tackled by Tony Cross there and just doing enough to touch that one past Messi, away from Messi. Also, would have been serious problems and consequences there. Well played, Tony Cross. Chance for Alves. Burst of speed from Turan, but he'll cut back. Poked free nicely by Casemiro again. Yep, Barcelona getting a little sloppy with some of their passes. Oh, tit for tat. Talk about sloppy. Quickly knotted down. Neymar, Suarez, but it was poked away. Appealing for a corner. He's not going to get it. Again, his sharpness isn't to be debated. Uh, even doubted for a split second he gets away the space and good last second intervention by Pepe but again that mobility by Suarez is as fresh now as it was in the first minute causing Ramos and Pepe all sorts of problems but I'm saying that part of the hardest adjustment to Barcelona is he's having to play a different game than the one he played with Atletico he says the jobs that he used to do, there's already people that are doing that. Just trying to find what his role is. He says he'll blend in even better next year. Well, obviously, Luis Enrique showing faith first off the bench today. Hey, hey. I look as if it was a little short. Tino Perez, little peek over at his Barcelona counterpart. Spinning to the inside. Chance for Alba. Ese loosening up on the Real Madrid bench, and now it looks like we might be seeing a change for the Merengues. Seems to have come off the boil just a bit with his final quarter hour. Deflected, but almost to Messi. Aldrich for Bale. Reaches back. Well played. Sends it in. Benzema tries to duplicate. Wonderful from the Welshman. Hurdling the challenge. Cross gets it back. But maybe with a handball. And it looks like here will come the switch. And Benzema, the player, coming out. A different look. Different animal to contain here. As a wonderful goal scorer for Real Madrid. He brought them back into this game. Gets the kind advice from the world class superstar that he was. Zizou, nothing wrong with his performance tonight. Played tactically smart as well. He has his wonderful flash of pure inspiration. No chance for anybody once it got over. He took that deflection, but he catapulted that one home. 21st goal of the season in league play for Benzema. Now, this will likely push Ronaldo higher up, more into that CR9 role. And it'll give more pertinently, Phil, Barcelona's back lane a whole different dynamic to deal with because this man, SA, has got speed to burn, and if he gets half of a chance... Can we've seen be very, very good at finishing off half chances. 
No way. It looks like Hesse actually in the middle as Busquets earns the whistle. Real question now is for Real Madrid, how much do they want to push for a second goal as Barcelona looks content to bleed another game off the schedule? Yeah. As he stripped Casemiro again. again. Esse out wide. Ooh. It's Ronaldo. Can he find the angle? Nice Ronaldo. Oh, and what a tackle by Mascherano. Wonderful slide across from Mascherano. He better get this one right. Cristiano doing the right thing, trying his little dagger ball to find out Hesse, who would run on the other side of him once and then change his direction beautifully. Good ball. Chance for Suarez outside of the boot, but he can't curl it home. Uh, he gets closer with this one than he did when he had the open netter. Again, damning convention on the hold-up, chancing his arms. It's got a wicked angle to find. And a great distance, but he nearly rattles the side netting of Kila Navas. Good run again. Right up the middle. Cross oh, lays it off. Essay keeps it moving. Here's Marcelo. Oh. Ronaldo on his flank. Bale screaming for it, looking for the Welshman. Anything wrong there, people? I'm sorry on that angle. There's nothing wrong. That's a legitimately great goal by Gareth from this angle. And again, that's a very harsh call against the fire-breathing dragon that rises nicely. And I tell you what, I think Jordi Alba yeah. recognizes that he's got a big fire-breathing dragon on his back, and he was going to go down at the least little contact. There's certainly contact made by Gareth Bale, but it's not enough to send him down. Another collision wow. at midfield. Play on, says the referee. Chance now for Hesse. Marcelo out wide. Tremendous bounce back from Los Blancos. Look back out. for Ronaldo. Ronaldo! Oh! And it scrapes the top of the crossbar. Again, beautiful from Real Madrid. And I'm picking apart Barcelona here now. A wonderful effort. And the release here is as smooth as the back of a spoon from Cristiano. He gets all his angles right like isosceles. But the, oh, that is so close. And he knows it more than anybody. Down to the sidelines for another check. Brought to you by AT&T and Kevin Egan. Things getting interesting. Here for Bale. A chance now. They Bale. are indeed for the same. But cleared by Alba. Kevin. They are indeed, Phil Shane, and you've got to keep an eye on Zinedine Zidane. He has come to life in the second half here on the bench for Real Madrid. When the goal went in, he celebrated with his technical staff, with the substitutes, with everybody. And he seemed to be the last person inside Camp Nou that realised that the goal was disallowed. It was phenomenal viewing. Zidane clearly furious afterwards, Phil. Thank you very much, Teodoro Sobrino, a FIFA <sighs> assistant referee. Another horrendous, hellacious attempted defending from Alba and Gareth again so close to nutmegging Claudio Bravo and getting the go-ahead goal yet again well, there will be plenty to argue about back in the nation's capital oh Ramos going in strong he already had one yellow and now his day is done and again there can be no complaining I think he should have been off earlier but again it's Suarez recognizing his proximity and a lovely turn away from him and they're arguing this referee but in lifetime it certainly looked as if this was a deserved second yellow take a look again the spin is there and the standing leg is taken recklessly and that is a tackle that would dehorn a caribou no question diving in 
they bombed Bob Beeman at the Mexico Olympics and he's seen the showers. Gordy Cruyff and the Barca president exchanging memories in the making. How much will this change things? Chipped up, met by Suarez, but he can't come around it. And placement of the pass is down to a pixel from you know who. And he cannot adjust it quickly enough to get the sweet spot. But the service to him today has been, well, you cannot get any better. Six minutes remain in regulation, Ray, and win, lose, or draw. We will learn a lot over those six minutes about what Zinedine Zidane has done with Real Madrid in oh. his brief time. Seconds earlier, they're celebrating a game winner, only to see it snatched away, and now they're down a man looking to hold on. Yeah, and they're still coming on. Carvajal with Hesse. Goodbye. Through for Bale. It's on his right. Hangs it up for Ronaldo. Oh, my God. Settles. Shoots. Scores. Cristiano again! And he vaporizes the defenders! A beautiful setup from Gareth Bale, and finally the divine connection occurs. Right here! Cristiano has chromosomes buzzing about in his body that belong to the Bengal Tiger. Once he gets the service, a wonderful run by Carvajal. Hesse plays it out. The wonderful rainbow pass. Cristiano's got a lot of decisions to make, and he does it brilliantly. Superlative again. And Cristiano, more sparky than a downed power line here. No angle. He goes through the way, wickets through the legs of Claudio Bravo. But what certainly looks like the match winner now, but time on the clock still. So Cristiano Ronaldo making that climb up the Pichichi chart as not quite the smiles in the Barcelona side of the president's box. His what 29th. A life, what a lifeline for Real Madrid. Still plenty of time on the clock as far as Barcelona's concerned, but Messi pickpocketed. But Phil, on the longer look, that was such a combination between the two players who have been always categorized as not perhaps getting along with each other. And they got along each other like Heckle and Jekyll there. Wonderful goal for the lead. Seventh minute is Neymar bursting forward, looking for an equalizer, top of the box. Lays it back, Messi. Deflect, kicked off by Iniesta and cleared. We still might have some change, but what a huge goal for Ronaldo. Only the eighth league Classico goal he has scored, but the 16th of all time. Only to Stefano. Chance for Suarez, but a push. And he gets decked by Pepe. After the but whistle. the whistle had already blown. It makes no difference whether it's blown or not. If this is an intentional challenge by Pepe, which I'm not sure it is, does he try to get out of the way? Or does he continue? They're continuing. Take a look. This is another. our Hennessy man of the match. And a chance for Ronaldo to be the hero. Never stop, never settle. The man of the match brought to you by Hennessy. Again, the twists and turns are beautiful. The pass. Well, it's a string of pearls. And he knows how to wear his jewelry. Cristiano. Again, the service is tremendous. He's got so much to do, and he is as cool as a bomb disposal expert once that ball started coming to him. The coolest head in Camp Nou. Cristiano. Almost as smooth as some Hennessy. Poked away from Modric. Top of the box. Turan getting rid of it. Now it seems as though Barcelona with a spark. They've got a man advantage, but they're down a goal. And two minutes left of regulation. Did they take it too easy? The 39 match on beaten streak about to be snapped. And a smile on Ronaldo's face as he turns around. Real ready to bleed the clock a bit more. Lucas Vasquez getting set to check in. Talk about feeding 
the wind into the sails of, as I said at the start, this Real Madrid team coming in on those four wins and had been playing good football, their best football, I said at the time, under Zidane. Now, out here today, I think Barcelona are going to look at a number of opportunities where they should have padded the lead unquestionably, and they were denied, remember, by Kela Navas in the most astonishing ways. But then Marcelo intervened bravely, leaving his position at the back. The substitution worked a treat, and of course, the big superstar, this man, come out and really made the exclamation point. Good step in Marcelo, trying to win it back, but a scything tackle, a lunging tackle from Modric. And down goes Iniesta. And Ray, I have been among the first to criticize Ronaldo and his performance away from home and in big games. But you could sense something turning since the calendar turned. And right now, boy, is he blossoming at the right time. Bale will be coming out. And he's going to take his time to do it, giving us the chance, Ray. Barring a complete disaster against Wolfsburg in the Champions League, and understanding even this will draw them closer to Barcelona in La Liga, that title probably already decided. What we see here today, is it enough for Real Madrid to stick with Zinedine Zidane for next year? We don't know, and I don't know, and nobody knows other than the president. But these are the performances that will keep him in a job no matter what. This is a great response from Real Madrid after being down a goal. But look out. Top of the box, straight to Kroos. Two minutes to be added, and this added time brought to you by Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach. 90 seconds of that great pace little again. extra classico. From Hesse. Burst of speed for Vasquez as they try and just keep away. Just out of a howl. One on one with Araturan. Gone a begging now. BK launching himself forward. He wants to be at the end of any desperation crosses if need be. Iesta poked back for Mascherano. Final minute approaches. BK joining in the attack now. He's always the go to guy in last chance saloon for Barcelona. Lifted by Iniesta, cleared away by Pepe. This place gone awfully quiet. Just three shots for Messi, only one on target. He did pass into a number of dangerous chances, but Ronaldo has won that duel on the day with 30 seconds to go. Well, look at that man in black, don't forget that. That man in between the sticks for Real Madrid, denying, look out. Neymar slips it in, turn on with the chance, but it's Casemiro in the way. And that might do it. Ronaldo against Alves. The equalizer, maybe eight yards from finding the net. Up front for Pepe, Bravo scrambles back. Ooh. Vasquez can't get to it as Mascherano snuffs out the chance. Casemiro might not have even seen it. Turan sent it right down Main Street, and that is going to do it. The Ronaldo goal has given Real Madrid victory at the Camp Nou, and the unbeaten streak is over. Celebrating like they've just won La Liga. This is how much it means to them. This was a statement game, I said, coming in. Barcelona did more than enough to win this game, but they missed their chances, and Cristiano Ronaldo did not. The smile that will light up the stars and eclipse the sun. The man of the moment, Cristiano Ronaldo. And he was the difference maker. Suarez looked sharp until he got in front of goal. Neymar was probably the best of the vaunted MSN. There were wonderful performances on both sides, but Real Madrid's heart and grit and determination, more than anything perhaps, was the tipping point in this game. Gerard Piquet responded and rallied with a tremendous go-ahead goal, but he's not smiling on the outside, but he is beaming on the inside. Well, it was a thriller at the end, a scoreless first half and three huge goals in the second, including a Ronaldo winner at the wire.
The Classico goes Royale's way on enemy ground and all the reactions and fallout as we continue. El Classico on BN Sports.